So we found this really awesome spot at the end of the lake. As you can see, you got all the mountains in view. The colors look really nice. The light's hitting most of the peaks as well, and the water is reflecting. It also looks like a nice uh, blue too, which complements everything else in the photo. So now what we want to do is, you know, with a, a scene like this, we want to tell a story. So one of the nice things about being able to tell a story here is that she's at this really awesome lake. It looks calm. She's got a backpack. She could have been hiking or out all day, and she's just enjoying the end of her day here at this awesome spot. So when we're taking photos like this, if we're taking it for ourselves, for a memory, for it to look cool, for a brand, doesn't matter. I would still try to do whatever you can to make it look natural. Um, you know, if the bag is too close or too far from her, it's not going to tie the image together and almost can be too distracting. But if it's a decent enough distance away where it looks like it was naturally placed down, then, you know, that's going to be great. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some shots of her sitting kind of like this. I'm going to adjust the bag a little bit and kind of eyeball it to see what I think looks good. I like having it be a little bit imperfect so that way you can actually sell the idea that the person was sitting there. And in a lot of the times they actually are sitting there too. And, um, you know, and then also go over her posture as well to make sure that, you know, she's you know, naturally sitting there relaxed and uh, enjoying the view. All right. Yeah. You want to kind of have your hands, uh, no, are your legs crossed? Don't have your legs crossed as much. Maybe, uh, can you go towards the edge of the log a little bit more? Uh, not that way, but like kind of like um, scoot, yeah, like that. And then can you have your legs out? Not that I don't have, yeah. And then kind of just hang out like that, yeah. Yeah, you can have the hands on the logs, that looks kind of, not that far up, yeah. <laughs> That's good, yeah, we can leave it just like that. So now what I'm gonna wanna do is there is some space between where she's sitting and the reflection. So I'm gonna want to um, kind of probably get a little bit lower so that way I'm eliminating that space in the beach. Um, and then uh, really quick with your, uh, with your posture, maybe, uh, actually yeah, right there, just like that, the way you're kind of looking out to the left. Again, having like where her head is angled at and things like that, these are just stuff you want to be conscientious of as you're shooting because she might be in a new position and might not know. And it's hard for her to tell which way looks good, only you're going to know because you're getting the back end of it. All right. Maybe have your hands kind of on your lap. And then uh, look a little bit more to your right. More to your right. More. Yeah, like that. Awesome. So as we were shooting photos, uh, we obviously saw the sky look really awesome right there. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get some photos of her interacting with her environment, which is of course the lake and the reflection. It's really cool to find different elements in terms of um, details in the photo and how the subject or the person is interacting with it. So it again feels like an immersive experience. It feels like the person is part of it, that you're imagining yourself being there. So right now with the calm water, just making a slight ripple or touching the water, makes it feel like she's just like in this super calm, peaceful place and she's testing the calmness of it. She's trying to psychologically get there to that, that point of calmness as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some really cool photos, again, keeping in mind the negative space is where she's at and then trying to capture the ripples and the sunset that's going off at the same time. Yep, dip there, just uh, rip, do a ripple. Oh, that's really good. So again, I'm using the um, low sequential shooting, so that way I can get all the ripples that are going on. Looks really, really awesome. The colors are great. The ripple is um, coming out at the exact speed that we want it to. There's tons of detail in the sky. So we got some really awesome photos while we were here. Um, we did a 
bunch of different varieties of uh, poses and walks and we try to do some different compositional ideas that involve the edge of this forest that meets right where the, the lake is. We also got really lucky too with the sunset going off. Um, there was also um, not too much cloud coverage so we didn't have to worry about it being really flat and we tried to take advantage of that while we could. Definitely being on top of the timing of your settings and as the light is fading is really key. I can't reiterate it enough. You always want to be changing your stuff and making sure that it's keeping up with whatever the lighting happens to be at that time.